Good evening, I'm Jamison Euler. Wendy has the night off. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith speaking exclusively with that victim. And Ryan, that wasn't the only person he's accused of attacking. Jamison, according to these court documents right here, Jordan Santos strangled his girlfriend. He then beat up an innocent woman as he ran from Hillsborough County deputies. And before that violent night, take a look. I've learned he was a standout baseball player at the University of South Florida. The only thing that saved me, all right, was the man upstairs. Kimberly Rivers remembers waking up to a man screaming for help last Friday. She lives above this storage business on North 56th Street. And I had my hair up. He just grabbed me by my head with one hand. And I asked him to let me go. In those frightening moments in the middle of the night, she recalls praying for her attacker. I want God to look out for him. God looked out for me, all right? God looked out for me within a split second of my life. Investigators tell me the violent night started at Jordan Santos' apartment near campus. They say he punched his girlfriend several times and choked her out when she tried to escape. Goes to USF baseball scholarship. Why do you want to do something like this to, to someone like me? Santos was a standout athlete at USF, a catcher and infielder for the Bulls baseball team. I've confirmed he is still a student at the university, but has been kicked off the team. A statement from USF Athletics reads, all members of our athletics program are held to high standards of conduct, and we will not tolerate any actions contrary to our values. And tonight, Santos is charged with domestic violence, burglary, assault, and false imprisonment. Now, I did reach out to his listed attorney for comment, but have yet to hear back.